Come on in. Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. My name is Katie O'Neill and I am so excited about today's video. There's not a lot of RVs that I would take in lieu of my Superstar, but today we are going to be looking at a 2024 Classic Bunk Model and absolutely this one would certainly have a spot in my garage. So as usual, I like to start my videos from the inside out. Jody, if you don't mind, go ahead and take her on back. And welcome to a great 45 foot co coach. This is a bunk model. Uh, this is a classic, so this has got a lot of benefits to it. There's no fiberglass cap on the back, giving it a little bit more room. It's a mid-entry, dual full bath model. So you have two showers in this coach. Super, super fantastic. You also have a ton of uh, sleeping accommodations. So anytime we have a coach that has, for instance, seven seat belts, we have, to, we have to show occupancy of seven. But in all honesty, this coach has enough room for probably really comfortably up to 10 people. Um, there's a lot of great features about this RV. A lot of reasons that I like this RV as much as I do. And one of them is going to be the chassis. So today we're going to start off inside of the chassis. This is a P4 Cascadia chassis. And I just want to cover some of the features that really bring this up to uh, the type of vehicle you're used to operating and owning on a daily basis. So it doesn't matter if you have a Kia, a Toyota, or a Mercedes these days. We have a lane tracking package. We have drive assist features. We have really nice integrated navigation systems. And this P4 chassis has it all. So I would say out of all the things that really differentiate this coach um, from others in the marketplace, first of all, Renegade makes this uh, 45 foot more than any other classic. This is their number one selling floor plan. So they're really good at it. Their cabinet quality is second to none. But this chassis really offers you a very comfortable driving experience. So this is an optional cutout. Uh, you don't need to have this. I just started off the video in this top bunk area. This top bunk area has full power slides or shades on both sides with cross ventilation. What a huge feature to have the breeze be able to blow through. But really the size of this overhead bunk is literally 60 inches by 95 inches across. It is so big. And then the clearance from the carpet to the ceiling is 23 inches. If you were to put this uh, pad here, I'd say you'd still have 21 inches of headspace up there. Very comfortable, a great place for the kids to get away. They wanna get up there on their iPads and just hang out and chill do whatever they're doing with Snapchat, talk to their friends. Great area with curtains on either side that you can just draw shut and they can have their own space. Uh, this cover here just slides into place and they even have a carpet section for it. Uh, so if you wanna put this in place so that you can store things up here without scratching this beautiful finish, you're welcome to do that. And this is all solid maple wood. Uh, so let's take a quick look here, first of all, how nice are these cabinets? These are carpet lined underneath as well, so they're gonna be really big. There's plenty of room there to keep sunglasses, but what's nice about them is they're not gonna get scratched. Uh, this is also carpet lined up here and here as well. Uh, so these are, these are little features of this P4 chassis that just make it really, really nice. So lots and lots of, of great uh, bin storage overhead. Now check this out. This is the number one reason this could make it into my garage. I have a place to do my lip gloss. Now, what is this over here? This is not my rear view camera, but it is. It is my rear view mirror. It's a camera that is loaded uh, on, on top of the coach. So you're seeing a high, a high vision right now. We also have the accessory uh, Jeep cam, or not Jeep camera, <laughs> that's pretty funny. The hitch camera so that you can look at your Jeep uh, down close and I'll show you those both on the outside. But what I wanted to show you today was a little bit of this. So first of all, I have my cell phone integrated with Apple CarPlay. This coach takes not only Apple CarPlay, but it also takes Android Auto. So both features, which is super, super nice. Now, if I disconnect this and put my phone down, you'll see that I also have all of this great touch screen that I can do here. So I can take a look at my gauges. I have great access, very big writing, very clear, nice, bright illumination for all of my temperature. Um, I have three sets of gauges that I can just touch 
to get to here. So if I want to see what my rear axle oil temperature is, I've got a gauge that's reading at that 72 uh, degrees. So really good, especially if you've got a heavy payload that you're bringing. Uh, cab accessories, I have my regen switch here, but I also can set an alarm clock here. And then my digital switches or digital settings for driver's assistance, I can turn on and off. I've got side guard assist, active brake assist. I also have um, access to my system display where I can change my units of measurement. So if I'm used to using kilometers instead of miles per hour, I just change that right there. And then if I want to go into my language and I am more, let's say I've got you know, a better handle on French, I can go ahead and change all of that here. Because again, this is a Mercedes Benz interface on this P4 Cascadia chassis. So really nice. Also, you'll be able to see here uh, when I get into my chassis, I've got a great tire pressure monitoring system telling you what my temperature or what my uh, PSI is in all of my uh, tires as well as my temperature. So, and then also I have, can read all of my batteries. So if I've got a low battery in one of my monitors, I know that I need to change it. I can figure out which one's out. Uh, axles, I can do my three locking diffs. Those are going to be locked down here. Uh, but I can lock up my coach diffs and see what I have going. So if I am doing that twin screw heavy payload and I'm pulling, I can make sure everything's set up the way I need to have it set to be able to pull. Engine oil and also when I need to have my coach service next, everything is just at the touch of a button. Super easy. Um, I do have the exterior lighting on right now, so that's just turned on and off right here. We'll take a look at that later. And then on the interior lighting, things like lighting up this little footwell. So you can see there's like a nice golden glow down here. If I am driving down the road and I want to have just a little illumination late at night, it's hard for me to see things. I wear glasses. My vision's not quite as good. Really good illumination there. And I can also turn the cab light on and off from here. So very, very nice interface at this Mercedes-Benz level. The navigation has a really clear, easy to operate uh, voice control. It is set for the parameters of this coach. And then uh, you can also, of course, connect your Bluetooth device, or like I showed you earlier, most importantly, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto at the touch of a, or I guess at the plug of a button, you know, you just plug it in. Um, in terms of everything here, of course, we've got our trailer brake, our trailer air supply. We have our parking brake. Again, locking axles, I can lower and raise the level of this vehicle. I do have a very expensive, very nice uh, updated hitch package for this, so I can do that manually or on my, uh, on my dash. Uh, but if I have a heavy uh, load, I've, I've got extra options on this coach that will allow me to get up to 40,000 pounds. Um, this is an Allison transmission. So one of the things that's really nice about this is it's stock controlled. And this is great because your engine brake is right here. So you've got all of your engine brake settings at the touch of a button. And then you just twist this knob to go into driver reverse. So there's no more buttons to interface with with this Allison transmission. This is not the DT12. This is the Allison. But take a look at this dash. I mean, this is so cool. So with this Mercedes-Benz dash, you've got a full digital display. You can tell that I've got my uh, my uh, my brake on or my uh, engine brake on. When I turn it on there, it just pops up. So all of the lights are very, very particular. And then I also have access to go through and I can just change all of my settings right here, like see my distance control. Everything is kind of what you're expecting to do. So I can, for instance, I'm lowering my distance control here. That means I'm going to be as close to the next vehicle in front of me as possible. Or if I raise it, I'm further away, so I'm not on right on someone's tail if I'm going down the interstate and I'm just tracking somebody. But anyway, all of this dash is so advanced comparably to anything else that we have in that M2106 or the M2112 chassis, and even more so than the Plus that's coming out this fall. Um, so power mirrors, uh, heated mirrors, power windows, power door locks, really big, gigantic side mirrors. It's kind of, I call them the Caterpillar mirrors. Um, these are all blacked out. This coach does have the blackout package. Um, great place for cup holders. If you've got a big water bottle, this is way oversized. This is a Yeti cup, so I wanted to show you how well that fits in here. But you've, you've got a big water bottle, you can put that right here. And then this Sears seating is really nice. This is all of your lumbar support, so your pneumatic lumbar support. Uh, you have really nice soft touch leather. And these are adjustable. You've got armrests um, that are really, really comfortable. The, sweet, the seats do swivel. And then as you can see here, we have this curtain that runs along the track. So you can open up this curtain and run the curtain the whole way through the cab just to keep the light out. Um, I would always recommend if you're looking to keep the heat out 
definitely get one of those heat shields uh, inserts. They will also have this because again, anytime you're dealing with Freightliner, these truckers are out there on the road every day. This is a million mile engine. Uh, so of course, you know, these people that are using these trucks day in and day out have great accessories that you can get for Freightliner uh, through, uh, and I like the Heat Shield Corporation. They do a great job. Uh, Jody, I also just wanted to point out, I like this mirror here. You can see it's gonna show us where we are in proximity to the curb. And when we get outside, we're gonna see these, uh, this great blackout package. Uh, Renegade this year changed the color of their footsteps, which is really nice. They were coming in chrome before. Now they're blacked out, but this entire coach has been blacked out at the manufacturer level. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the engine. So uh, one of the reasons that I wanted to start up here is it's really hard for Jody and I to get in and out when we've got this ladder in place. So when I bring this coach in, I'm gonna be able to uh, show you the walking space. But before we leave here, I wanted to show you this equalizer smart, smart leveling system. Uh, we have that deployed today. So you do have your smart level on currently. Uh, so we are raised, uh, but that hydraulic leveling system is also going to power your larger slide here on the uh, galley side. So on the port side of the galley here, you're going to have an uh, equalizer uh, leveling system, uh, or I'm sorry, uh, a hydraulic, hydraulic leveling system in play too. It's actually really cool. It's super fast. Um, so I'm looking forward to showing you that. Okay, so I'm just gonna move. Well, let me show you this first. So first of all, our 18, 18 cubic foot refrigerator. Um, great refrigerator, tons of capacity, nice digital display here telling you what temperature you're set to. Uh, this is a Samsung. It's got a really deep, um, a really deep freezer. And it's got an ice maker as well. Uh, one of the things that's super nice about this refrigerator is this is the refrigerator that we use on all of our Renegade products. Uh, is a standard fridge when you get up to Ventana, or Ventana, when you get up to Verona and, and continue up through the line. Uh, so it's just a really tried and true refrigerator. And one of the things I really like about them, um, so I have a Superstar that has a really fancy like integrated latch in the door, but I can't always tell when I actually have it latched. So I might be going down the road and have the doors fly open. This one you can look at, so it's not red, it's not latched. So that's a nice feature. Um, this ladder, by the way, I mean, when you actually move this ladder around, you realize how solid all of this cabinetry is. It is so incredible. So I can leave this ladder in place with the slides in as long as it's here. Uh, up here above, I do have a wine guard system. Uh, you can kind of see there's the antenna. Um, I was watching a video earlier today uh, with somebody who does Starlink on top of their coaches. Absolutely, uh, we have been doing Starlink on top of a number of RVs. Uh, we've got a few videos on it. If you want to see it in motion, uh, Brian did a video of it on a King Air, uh, but we can install Starlink on this coach for you. And I have a cradle point system, so it really depends on where you camp. If you're going to be under forest cover, um, Starlink's fantastic under open skies, but it doesn't like obstacles. So just keep in mind there are more than one way uh, to get super crazy high, uh, high uh, bandwidth for Wi-Fi in your coach, and you may want to consider all of the options before just settling on one, depending on how you camp. Um, now up here above the microwave and convection oven, we have a huge counter or a huge uh, cabinet space. And these are adjustable. So I really think that that's a nice feature of this coach because you can make them as high or low as you'd like them. And then here is another uh, adjustable, uh, another adjustable uh, shelf in their cabinet. Also, you'll see we've got our uh, awning controls up here in this bay if you don't want to use your app. Now, everything can be run uh, from your hydraulic leveling jacks to starting and stopping your generator, putting your slides in and out, all of your awnings. Uh, so very different than Numar in the fact that the Firefly system allows you to execute a lot of control uh, for your RV from the outside of the RV. Uh, not just monitoring or reading things, but actually being able to bring your slides in and out. And where that's convenient is honestly, you know, you get to a campsite late at night and you don't know whether or not you've got enough room for that slide to go all the way out and you can stand out there with your phone and put it out. And if you're getting too close, you can put it back in and move over. So really like that. Um, Aurora Cloud is the name of this countertop. It is so pretty. Uh, this is a Project Black. Um, so very aggressive, masculine countertop with a beautiful cloudy, uh, 
with a beautiful cloudy white countertop, but nothing would be uh, complete in Aurora Cloud if you didn't have those rainbows. So I have this pulsing through all sorts of different colors. It's going from kind of a turquoise to a pink to a, to a violet. It is absolutely beautiful. Um, really nice feature. It's kind of funny. Um, I get a lot of people who ask about this. Can you integrate this into the countertops? And after the fact, I mean, I guess you may be able to pull something off by putting it underneath, but this is integrated into this Aurora Cloud countertop and it is beautiful. It's also tied in on the outside. It's under the slides as well. So if you ever wanted to be like the bell of the ball, I mean, I really feel like it's in my destiny to have a coach like this. I just love it. So, um, okay, so induction cooktop. Uh, for me, the only downside to this is that it's not removable. Uh, mine is removable. I have the same one in my uh, Superstar. I love it. True induction is the way to go. You can put a fire, you can put a paper towel down on this burner, put a pot on top of it and boil water in about a third of the time as if you were using gas. And what's nice about that is that paper towel will not catch on fire. So really good safety feature for anybody who has littles that might want to help make breakfast in the morning, you know, doing eggs, making pancakes, all of those things. Um, this is a great microwave and convection oven. Um, as you can see, super nice first class. We've gone away from the shelves and into having these little tripod uh, stands that you can use. And then keep in mind, if you use a clay pot, they have a Romanoff clay pot that you soak in water and then you bake it in your oven. And it is so cool because it keeps your chicken and such from getting dried out. So I really encourage you, if you're curious about that product, uh, just text me, shoot me an email, I'll send you a link to where to get one. And it would be perfectly fine to, to be able to soak it in water in this deep basin, stainless steel, undermount sink. And yes, they're paying attention. Look at all of the room for the scrubbies. I do have one of these covers underneath. So we'll take a look at that. Look at the size of that under cabinet. I mean, you could put a gigantic trash can in there. So great cabinet space uh, in this RV. And then here, look at these beautiful full extension drawers. So one of the things that's super nice about this coach is look at, not only do you have this fantastic dovetail feature on this, just really high level uh, cabinet quality, but also how nice is it if you're cooking and you want to get to your spatulas and not get to your silverware, you can have two different levels in this. And this is just a little feature that you get, you know, uh, in your residential kitchen at home in your RV, but it makes all the difference. And then here, another just great feature, another slide out. So if you have anything like you want to keep uh, your oven mitts here, for instance, and maybe measuring cups and the like, really nice. And then here we have the brains of the operations. So all of your power systems are really easily accessible. And then your breaker panels are right down here. Because at the end of the day, this space is not nearly as usable as the pantry space. So yeah, there is, there's even pantry space. Let me show you that as well. So first of all, anyone want to put a rice cooker up here? Anyone want to get their coffee pots in here? I mean, this is such great space. Jody's going to kill me, but I'm going to get my measuring tape because <laughs> I think it's really important to know this opening uh, right here is about 10 and a half inches wide, but you've got to go to the inside of this. So nine and a half between here and then this little bracket, this knuckle, if you will. And then from a depth perspective, 25, over 25 inches of cabinet space here. And again, adjustable shelves. So the height of this doesn't really matter. You can make it whatever you like. Uh, this British sable is so pretty. You can really see the maple uh, pulling through here. This uh, stain really accentuates it. And then again, all of these nice full extension dovetail drawers. So you've got two shallow and then three that are super deep. Just great, great construction quality. And I mean, look at, I mean, kind of this tiger um, effect that you're seeing on the front of these, cat, these even these extensions. This is just a gorgeous coach. Um, I'm in conversations with somebody about this RV right now. He's got a Dutch star, so hello. And I'm trying to uh, coerce him into getting this for his daughter because I know she would love the rainbow lights. And I know she would love the bunk over cab, especially as she gets older and has her own space. Uh, but it's really funny. We were talking about how different this coach is from Newmar. But, you know, Newmar and Renegade both make a fantastic product. The only difference is 
Newmar doesn't have a P4 Cascadia chassis, um, and Renegade does, and Renegade builds coaches to a very high specification. So um, this coach in its in its right has you know 30 to 40 thousand pound towing capacity depending on which hitch you have set with it. Um, but if you've got a heavy stacker, if you've got a race car trailer you want to pull behind you, you're welcome to. And if you've got a light load like a Jeep or a Mini Cooper, it's also going to work really well. All the extra camera systems are, are in play though, because as we get older, our lives change. We graduate into different, uh, you know, activities that we really like. Maybe we'll take up jet skiing. Maybe we'll take up boating. Uh, maybe we'll buy a place on a lake, you know, and want to bring, you know, a different boat up, our pontoon, you know, versus a jet ski for the weekend. All of those things are really possible because you've got such a, a Swiss Army knife of a coach in this classic. Uh, now here we have a nice deep drawer to keep all of your um, your Tide Pods and your uh, dryer sheets in here. But honestly, with so much room, you could probably keep your linens in here as well. Um, I watched a video this morning where someone did point out that you have access to water. And I thought, you know, it's so funny because all of the Numars and Renegades that I show really have access panels. But this is a nice, clean way to get to this access panel since, you know, if you look at where the back of the washer is, it would be unsightly to have it here in this beautiful entryway. So they did, they did a really nice job in putting it off to the side. And then you saw the wiring for all of these little lights. One of the best features about this coach is the fact that you can actually control so much of the coach from all of these different touch panels throughout the coach. So there's one here. We're gonna look at this one here, right underneath this wall sconce. So under lighting, I can just touch one at a time and turn them on and off. I could turn everything off I could turn everything on. I can do this from my phone. All of this interface that I have here is the same on my phone as it is in these panels. So I've got these really nice firefly panels throughout the coach. I can start and stop my generator. So right now my generator is running. This is a 12.5 kilowatt generator. So this is a 12,500 watt generator. So lots of juice coming out of this bad boy. Uh, we've also got three 200 watt panels on top of this coach giving us 600, uh, 600 uh, amps of solar coming in to charge are three lithium ion batteries. So we have three batteries uh, in this coach. Uh, so we have the two standard and then the extra with lithium. You have a ceiling fan in the living room and in the bedroom. What a nice feature that you don't find in a lot of RVs. Then you can see all of your slide controls. And then this is where I would get my mobile app. So this is the type of app you're going to use. It's called uh, the Vega Touch Mira app. And then you can also program everything here. Again, temperature and units. Uh, you can you also go through and update your uh, software. Everything digitally here. Really, really nice feature um, of this coach. And I want to grab my phone so that I have this to put our slides in later. Otherwise, I'm not going to have it with me. So I'm just going to kind of take my stuff as we go. Jody, I lost my measuring tape. I know you're so sad. Oh, look, I found it. Poor Jody. Jody's gonna need back surgery when I get done with him. The poor guy. Okay, so some feedback on this on this bunk. Most of the bunks in Renegade are 30 by 80. These are 30 by 76, and Numar they're 30 by 72. So six feet four inches is what you have here. Again, you've got all the power controls here. So two 110 outlets, USB and Type C. Nice integrated soft touch ceiling with lights above and then uh, somebody was talking about if you are sleeping in your coach uh, you know or taking a nap as a little one going down the road you want to make sure you have them with their heads this direction because if you were to slam on your brakes you don't want them to have their head impact the front of the of that bed you want it to go down there but look at this so with my feet touching <laughs> So all this is showing you is not how big it is. It's showing you how short I am. <laughs> but I can go ahead and pull us a curtain on you for that one. Uh, so just super nice integrated permanent ladder on this coach. So a little bit different than my Superstar where it's removable. It's actually just built into the frame here. And then windows on both that do open. So lots of fresh air. And then really nice. Look at the size of these drawers. And again, I mean, this is just such a pretty, um, pretty coach. The wood quality is so, so nice. It's just very different. You know, you, you've got two manufacturers that we carry here. Well, I shouldn't even say that, Jody. We have uh, Prevo, we have Numar, and we have Renegade. I mean, this is the store to shop at. We have, uh, we have a full chassis shop 
on uh, on location as well as a full house shop on location. So two completely separate buildings, uh, service centers that offer you know generator service, brakes, oil changes, all of that lubricant that you might need for your trailer on one side of the road. And then on the other side of the road, you come over here and we have the most fantastic crew of technicians for your house. And these guys can work on a Prevo, they can work on a Horizon, they can work on any, you know, whether it be a Winnebago, a Renegade, a Numar, they really do all of it and they're just fantastic. So really cool place to buy your coach. Uh, now this is an extra cost. This is a full length mirror here in the center. But what's nice about this whole center is this is such a huge room. So I can go ahead and close my, uh, my door. These are super solid pocket doors. As you can see, they go all the way in, but this room is from here to here. So I always like a coach that has an extra room in the center to get changed in, um, but this room beats all of them because on the inside of this, you've got, first of all, a robe hook, which if you watch my videos, you know is a very important feature to me. But second of all, Look at this full tile. Um, I shouldn't say full tile because this is going to be Corian. Again, that Aurora cloud with, but you've got your tile in insert. You've got your adjustable shower head. You've got your really nice teak bench. So this is a really nice shower. And as you can see, um, because I'm not a XL, I have two things going for me. I have bunk over cab, which is absolutely fantastic space. Even if it's just for golf clubs and paddle boards, um, just great space, not occupying uh, my bunk area. I can keep the, everything up front. But because I don't have that um, fiberglass end cap, I've got more room here in this shower. So really nice feature that I have all this extra room. And then again, we have our uh, SantaCon system. We do have the FlowJet Macerator uh, optional feature on that. And then we also have in that Aurora Cloud, that beautiful integrated light once again. So just a really, really spectacular coach. Again, tons of space, really simple. Uh, Renegade makes everything really, really simple. Um, I love this little shelf here where you can keep some of the things that you're using on the regular without having to put them away. But look at the size of this cabinet and look at the size of this medicine cabinet. So you have so much room. And these are adjustable shelves. Again, I'm just so excited about all of these adjustable shelves because at the end of the day, we can find a way to fit things in different places if we're relegated to a certain amount of space. But if we can actually put things where we want to put them on purpose, we'll tend to be a little more organized. Um, for me, that's the biggest thing I've learned is that just going up from a 36 to a 40, the little bit of extra space that I had in the coach really made a huge difference. The bunks have been such a great place for storage. We keep, when we have friends with us, they'll you know keep their overnight bags and stuff on the top bunk and they'll still sleep on the full size queen fold out. Um, but the only thing we're really missing in our bunk model is really a half bath in the middle. But to have a full shower, a whole second bath in this coach is such a luxury. So I'm gonna go back up front now before we go all the way through to the rear, uh, cause I wanna talk about this queen size bed. How nice is this? So, okay, there's just two of us. We're watching TV, we're hanging out. Oh, there's another optional mirror. Another great, and we know what's nice about that full-size mirror. You can catch your kids doing all sorts of na naughty little things up there on that bunk without even looking their direction. They're never gonna see you coming. No, I'm just kidding. It's nice because it opens up the space and it gives you more light and it gives you a bigger appearance. It's not because your kids are naughty, sure. Um, okay, great place to put down your drink or a, a, like a bowl of chips, a cheese plate, whatever you might want to have. But then if you want to have all your friends hang out, you got a whole couch. Everyone can sit here. Everyone can sit here. Look at the size of this dinette. And then what I did is I kind of set this up. I put the curtains down and I can show you how those come up. But I pulled the TV out off the wall a little bit with its nice little sound bar. Uh, this is not as big as your 50 inch that you have on the Newmar pop out. But what's so nice about this is everybody can sit down together and watch the same movie um, because you're not on an opposing dinette to couch uh, setup like you are in both the Superstar and the Supreme Air bunk model. So being able to have this all on one side is really, really nice. Um, the other thing I think that's great about this is if you have littles, you've got two seat belts here. You've got three seat belts here. But if you have a little one that is in a forward-facing uh, 
forward facing car seat, you can put this down really easily and you could have that forward facing car seat or rear facing car seat anchored in appropriately and safety, safely facing forward. So if you've got a four year old and a you know, six month old, this is your coach. You can put your booster in there and you can put your rear facing car seat and have seating for those little ones while you're, you know, and they don't, they don't stay little for long. I mean, they, they do grow up pretty fast, but while they're little, you want them to be safe when you're traveling down the road. Um, so two more one tens on this side with a type C and a USB and on the other side and a drink holder, super smart. And before I put the, uh, the blinds up, I'm going to go ahead and show you this bed. So what's better than having attached cushions, having a single cushion, how easy is this to store? I mean, how much more sense, why doesn't everyone just do this? I mean, I can just stick this anywhere. It's so cool. It's such, it's out of the way. It's easy beasy. And then here's your full size bed. This is where Max and Liz would sleep. We probably put Aislinn on the bottom bunk or some dogs. Yeah, it's a great place for puppies, right? But so really nice setup. And again, where do you put everyone's luggage? You could just throw it on top of that bunk over cab. Everyone could keep all of their suitcases up there and you could have your entire living space to yourself. Uh, so when you're hanging out at night and playing Parcheesi or We've been buying those true crime games where you try to solve the mystery. Uh, so, you know, whatever you're doing. Oh, Cards of Humanity. So, <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm, I hear things and I go, oh, I want to try that. So someone's like, you should try Cards of Humanity or Cards Against Humanity, I guess. So I got it. And this summer when we were up in Breckenridge, I was playing it with my 16 and 19 year old. And I've got to say, I don't know that I would recommend that you read cards against or play cards against humanity with your uh, 16 or 15 and 19 year old. It's probably not the best idea. Oh, here it goes, blinds. Okay, so I love the oatmeal color of the uh, full blackout shade, by the way. I think it's really nice. It's not dark. I gotta go halfway through to get to They're not really well labeled. Channel 10, channel 11, I'm in the bedroom now. Let's see if I go back to two. So anyway, so you've got a really nice uh, shade system here. There's number two. Everything is, uh, is touch, right? So it's super simple to get to. And then we just get all up, all down. I'm trying to find the day shades in here. I can hear the bedroom going off though. So anyway, so this is a really nice feature again, um, just to have your power MCD shades. And then another feature that I wanted to mention, which is an optional feature on this coach is this power exterior awning. So uh, really nice to have a little bit of coverage on the port side. You know, you've got your two awnings on your starboard side, but nothing on your port side. So really nice coverage here in the galley uh, for that shade. Okay. So now as we come through here, we're gonna start in the master bedroom. So one of the things I think is so neat about this coach is the fact that you have this fantastic amount of storage room. So this has the optional cedar line closet that passes through behind the television because at the end of the day, you don't really need, oops, I don't wanna take the TV off the thing. I wanna take the cabinet out. Oh, there it goes, okay, sorry. So you don't really need anything more than a little baseboard on this cabinet now. So take a look at all of the room you have here and you don't have to move the television to get to the center. So you can put things that you don't use as often in the center, but the smell of this cedar is just absolutely decadent. It's fantastic. And then what I love that they've done with this is they've also given you an access point here. So if you're keeping shoes, Look at all of the room you have for tennis shoes and hiking boots. I would probably keep them in plastic boxes because I think shoes stink um, personally. And I would like the cedar to overwhelm me when I open it, not my tennis shoes. But all of that being said, great place to be able to keep your things, slide those boxes in and out. Um, and then you don't have to use this storage down here for your shoes. You can use it for bedding, towels, linens and the like. And then again, you've got these beautiful full extension dovetail drawers the whole way through uh, the bottom set here. And of course, you'll note that this year we are pre-wired for all of our 
uh, things, PlayStation, you know, 5, your, you know, your Xbox, whatever, but we're no longer including uh, Blu-ray players in uh, this coach. So those are, if you want a Blu-ray player, it's there, I don't know, $69, just buy one at Best Buy and it's all set up for you. Okay, ceiling fan in the bedroom. Love that feature. Another really nice feature of this coach. So I have a hard time with um, my, I, I drink a lot of uh, canned water when we're camping, like, you know, whether it be Waterloo or, you know, whatever, whatever bubbles are cheapest is usually what I, bubbly is good. Uh, but I knock them off of my bed stand. But if I had this coach, I have this built-in cubby with a nightstand on either side so I could keep my phone up here, but I could keep my Waterloo in here and it wouldn't get knocked over at night. I also have uh, 110 outlets on both sides. There's two of them and a USB and a type C. Um, I know Renegade is now doing two 110 outlets above here in the center for a CPAP machine. I would encourage you to do some research with your cardiologist. Um, I actually had a gentleman out here about three weeks ago who said he doesn't know whether or not he's, he was not a cardiologist, he was a doctor, but he said that is good information to know. Make sure you're doing what's right for you. And if you don't want to have that CPAP machine above, as you can see, there's a ton of room uh, on either side of this bed and plenty of room to be able to get in and out of both sides at night. And then underneath here, you have your two 75 gallon fresh water tanks. So this coach is gonna have 150 gallons of fresh water. It's gonna have 75 gallons of gray water and 75 gallons of black water. And it's all going to be monitored now with the sea level monitoring system, which is a much better system. Uh, the nice thing about sea level is we had people who had renegades that we're going to sea level. And one of the nice aspects of it is it doesn't have to go inside of the tank. It's actually an exterior mount. Um, and it's also very accurate. And again, you can look at that on your phone. Make sure we, we have central vac here. So I'll tell you, I really like my kick plate in my superstar where I can sweep into it. Uh, but if that's the only thing I had to suffer to have a classic, I could handle it. Uh, so this is 35 inches wide. Look at the size of this shower. This is so much room, 35 by 42. I mean, this is a great shower for a big dude. There's a robe hook, uh, again, wand on a slide. You can thermostatically control your hot and cold water. So you can actually set it to the temperature you want. So if you want it super hot, you can do that. Now, when I say super hot, this uh, coach is equipped with the Aqua Hot 600D. So not the 250, not the 450, but the optional 600 is on this coach. So super hot water for sure. Uh, again, just a really nice like layout. So Numar and Renegade are very different, but they're both very high end. Uh, they're both very well built. So lots of nice features here. Again, we've got that Aurora Cloud countertop with that integrated light underneath. And then look at all the storage under here. This is just incredible. Tons and tons and tons of space to keep linens, towels, um, and then tons of space down there for cleaning supplies. Um, I mean, I don't even know. And then a nice shelf here. Keep your toilet paper and such on that shelf so it's easily accessible. Another really nice vanity drawer to keep your toothbrushes in. And then look at all this cabinet space in this rear bath. So nice. And I have to tell you the name of this um, tile surround. It's something Italian because it's naturale. <laughs> but you'll notice that they've done a really good job at providing you with the accent, but then still keeping it light, but giving you a full tile surround around your coach. And again, this has got that Flowjet um, macerator system on both toilets in the center and the rear. Now we'll see that we have a fantastic fan here. Did I open this? I did, okay. Uh, so fantastic fan here, ceiling fan as I mentioned earlier, but here is uh, a nice covered um, air conditioning unit. So you've got three ACs on this coach. You also have another mirror over here. Is that a mirror? No. What is that for, Jody? Oh, it's an access panel for your water, for your shower. How cool is that? Okay, well that's where you're going to put all of your uh, daughter's art. You put all of her art right there and it will not be impacted by this slide. So that's where I would put that. Um, okay, so again, three air conditioners, two ceiling fans. So this rear air, air seat, AC is in the back. This central AC is powered by a second 
uh, a second um, inverter. So this rear, this center AC, Jody's my step back there. I gotta grab my phone. Um, so this second uh, or the center AC is actually got its own inverter, and that inverter is giving you the ability to run that air conditioner while you're going down the road, keeping everyone in the mid of the coach nice and cool. Um, I did talk to Adam today. He said it might require a visit to the factory, but if you wanted to have your uh, rear AC uh, powered by your uh, that, that second inverter, you could you could move it from the rear from the middle to the rear. But currently, it's programmed to be in the in the center of the coach. Um, all of that being said, just a nice feature to be able to drive down the road without having your generator running if you want to keep the back of the coach uh, more. Uh, a little cooler, if you will, without running your generator. Now you can run your generator um, to do laundry, run your microwave, use your power cooktop. All of those things would require having your generator on while going down the road. So, I know I'm smart, there it is. Okay, mirror app. So Jody said, Katie, let me do the front cab so we can do the slides from the inside. And I said, that's fine, but I'm only gonna do um, the front uh, from the inside. So you'll see, look at how fast this is. It is crazy fast. So this again is hydraulic this year. That is a new feature. But as you can see, this is my walking space. So I have all of this, uh, all of this room that I can actually, you know, get through uh, to my, to there we go. I have all of this room where I can get through to my, um, to my uh, bathroom. So my bathroom is right here. Oh, I'm doing the back. I want to do the middle. There we go. So um, as you can see, so even when I have my bunks in, I have complete access uh, and walking space to my bathroom. But it's important to understand, I, I haven't seen an RV yet that doesn't have access to your bathroom from the front of the coach. Um, but what I have noticed is that most of the coaches don't have this much room. Uh, so this is a lot of room to be able to get in here. So if you're a bigger guy or if you've got any kind of issues with being able to get back and forth, this is a lot of walking space that you have to get through from the front of the coach to the center of the coach. And again, you can still access your bunks and all of those things. Um, make sure your door is popped into place. That just sinks down into a little pocket. But really nice feature there. I am gonna put the TV back so I don't forget when I go park the coach later on today. Super easy, just snaps into place. And then really nice handrails here as well. And we'll just take my, oh, changing the outfit. Look at that, take the glasses off, throw the sunnies on, because it is nice out here today. 80 degrees in October in Colorado. Beautiful sunny day. Uh, so nice feature of this coach, we still have a keypad so we can enter and exit our coach uh, without the key. So if you wanna leave your keypad here, you can. Your battery disconnect is right here. And then your e-start is also right there. So the only downside to this coach, in my opinion, is that if you wanna use like a battery or chassis boost to start your engine, the engine start is right there. So you have to have two people. Or as Grant Russell would say, just use some tape. So guys here have been doing this for a long time. If I close this, it's magnetic. Pretty nice, puts my steps up. And then let's go ahead and start from the front. So here are those lights that I turned on. Oh, Jody, our, our awnings went in. Boo. Well, let me see if I can work on that. Um, okay, so uh, first of all, look at this cab. Holy mackerel. So sexy, such a nice look. Um, and as you can see, really nice. Uh, these are the Atlas II seats. Uh, Renegade has the, them in, uh, embroidered with the, with the Renegade insignia. This year they've gone away from those chrome steps to these black powder coated steps. This is fantastic. Um, they're just, they're bulletproof. They're so nice. They don't have the, the chrome used to come in and it would be just like marked from sitting outside. Um, another thing I wanted to mention that we don't talk a lot about in uh, videos that we should really uh, talk about is your cargo capacity. So 8,943 pounds of stuff you can put in this coach. 
and this coach is exactly 45 feet end to end. A lot of them are 44, 11, 44, 10. This is 45 feet of magnificence. Uh, this is going to be the radar for your side uh, side assist. So you got a side, you got a package on this coach that is going to let you know when someone is next to you and make sure you're safe. Um, but this is the magic of the Cascadia P4 right here, married to the DD16. This is a 600 horsepower engine with 1,850 foot-pounds of torque. This is a beast. And big, uh, big 315 uh, R22s in the front. Your jumper points are going to be on this side of the coach, on the Superstar uh, M2106 chassis. They're on the opposite side. So so much, so much room here. Beautiful LED lights. You know, we've all got away, of course, from the halogen. And as I mentioned, this coach is so sexy in this blackout package. So blacked out screen. This is your radar for your drive assist package. Nice turn signals, all smoky. Uh, you've got your camera system here. Um, so when you put your signals on, you're still getting that illumination down the left and right. And then this coach has also been ordered with a few extra uh, marker lights throughout uh, the coach. So in the center here, there's an extra marker light. Uh, we ordered this coach. It has a spot here. You can either put, Renegade would have uh, opted this with a Truma, uh, but you can put a Dometic or a Truma in this bay. Um, in terms of how big these bays are, they're really big. Um, they're not as tall as the Superstar. The, just the construction of this coach is a little different, but 52 inches is a really big bay. Um, and you've got two of those, not only uh, side by side, but also consecutive. That is your step cover. Uh, so everyone does things differently. Renegade does it real simple. And that's gonna be 27 inches uh, to the, to the uh, just inside of this lip here. And as you can see, we've got that Rhino coat that you would have in the bed liner of your truck uh, as an optional feature on this. And then Renegade, of course, is very well known for their super solid latch system on their doors. Uh, we should probably, I think that this is gonna be another 52, but let's just double check. So, yep, 51 inches on this door. So big storage, over 100 inches just in that one compartment alone. All 43-inch uh, smart TVs, um, all Samsung. And again, all sorts of different ways to get connectivity, whether you would like to have Starlink installed here or you want to have um, the Cradle Point system installed. We do it all. We do it on the regular, so we're really good at it. We can certainly help you with whatever you need. Here's that big aqua hot system I talked about earlier. As you can tell, this customer needs aqua hot juice. If you are this customer, if you buy this coach and you tell me, hey Katie, don't forget my free gallon of aqua hot juice, I'll give it to you, but you'll need it because if you get below this cold line, this big boiler system is providing all of your hot water, it's providing all of your hydronic heat, which is a tube that goes underneath the floor of the coach and pushes air over that tube. Um, oh, and I didn't mention inside, this coach has heated floors as well. So heat pumps, huge hydronic heating system, and heated floors. But if you don't have Oasis juice uh, or Aqua Hot juice, you're not going to take a hot shower. Your floors will be nice and warm, so you won't be cold, but you're going to take a cold shower. So make sure you always have extra on hand, plenty of room to store it there in that bay. And here again, this is going to be your six wheels in the back. You can lock these, uh, so you're locking the front to the rear or side to side. So if you need to have a four by four situation where you're getting out of a sticky area, these are 295 R22s as well, or R22.5s, big Michelin tires. This coach is going to be able to pull you out of any situation. There's those exterior lights that I was mentioning earlier that I turned on in the dash. And then some more marker lights here. Really nice uh, carved Renegade RV insignia. And then I told you we had some hitch accessories. Look at the size of this hitch accessory that we have back here. So however, whatever you have that you're towing, you're gonna have to get there. This is the big dog back here. Look at that, holy mackerel. Um, the only reason I'm not bringing them out is because I'm a wussy and um, they're super heavy. You will note that there's a grommet in here. There are two 110 outlets in the back here. So if you want to get that margarita station 
up and running. You got plenty of room for uh, your margarita mixer to go through that little hole. And here we're at a 57 inch long door. So as you can see, super crazy storage. And then in terms of depth, you've got about 29 inches before we hit that shelf. But after the shelf, we're uh, 63, almost 64 inches of depth underneath there. So if you've got something long that you need to bring, you know, I don't know, hockey sticks, uh, paddleboard paddles, whatever it might be, here's that central vac uh, connect. So you can vacuum from the inside or the outside. You will need your pipes on the inside though as you don't have that kick plate. And then this is so funny. I have a lot of people that will say, oh, that back is so boring. Well, keep in mind, this boring back is giving you four more inches of interior space. And honestly, it's telling you, look at this classic. This thing is badass. So, so nice. Here's that top camera we talked about for your backup camera. And then here's that little camera that's going to be for your hitch so you can make sure you're lined up. And then as always, Renegade Smart, they make a separate system from top to bottom. Bad boy's loud. Turn that 12.5 off. I guess I'm gonna open that in a second. Anyway, so uh, really nice though that if you have an oopsie, you're not connected here. Um, now here, I wanted to just show, you run your cord through the hole and then you always make sure you put your grommet back or your cap back in your grommet because if you don't, this thing will leak. So as it bounces, it'll kind of like get lower and lower and lower. And see, there it goes. I got all the way to uh, Lyman and <laughs> my cord was dragging and I lost like a third of it. It worked fine, it didn't matter. But yeah, you don't want necessarily want to do that. Um, so there's that, the 12.5 kilowatt generator. I'll just show that to you one more time. You can start this from the outside. It also has a digital, or not digital, but a old fashioned counter for how many hours are on there. Oh, let's see if I can cancel slides. Retract, retract. Retract rear. Okay, so again, uh, slide toppers on both of these by Gerard, but we again have that extra awning there. Again, I've got these illuminated so you can kind of see, just giving you that extra uh, brightness that you would like when you're getting set up at night. Uh, so uh, there is a gravity hose in here, a spare. I think that that's all you would need uh, for this coach since you have the FlowJet Macerator system. But I love the way that they water jet uh, and engrave these letters here. So you're never gonna worry about them uh, falling off. Also have your whole house water filter there. Again, optional additional side markers. And then there's that flow jet system. So that system's super nice. You could run a gravity hose through that grommet as well, but there's two grommets here. And that, flow, that, that power macerator, I mean, it's not a necessity, but it sure is nice to have. Just make sure everything gets cleaned out really well before you hit the road. And then these are your gray and black water tanks out here. These are thermostatically controlled bays. So as long as you're running your, uh, your aqua hot system, you're gonna be able to be at much lower temperatures. Okay, so here's a nice feature. This is our Dragonfly uh, Lithionics package. Uh, these are 270 amp hour batteries, but there's an extra one here. So you've got three of them instead of two. Uh, so this is the extra battery. And then you'll see over here, we've got two inverters. So that second inverter is only powering your central AC. It doesn't power anything else. Uh, but with all of this power feeding this system, you should have more than enough power uh, to keep the coach nice and cool going down the road and to keep your laptops charged, to keep your air conditioning uh, running, to keep your refrigerator cool, all of those things uh, from this system. And of course, if you're not running your generator, uh, you also have six, uh, 600 uh, amps of, 600 watts of solar on top of the coach. So you've got three 200 watt panels up there. Uh, so here we've got our chassis batteries, a little bit of extra storage here. Really nice job. Um, need to air anything up. You've got your air right there too. And then again, we talked about this earlier, but the blackout package gives you your black wheels. It gives you uh, all of your black housing, your black trim, your black handles. Just a really cool looking coach. 
And then there's that entry point again, very easy to get into. But this cab, uh, the comfort comfortability of this cab and the flat transition into the coach is one of the reasons that you would consider this Cascadia uh, chassis. Also, uh-oh, is there something in the door? No, okay, this didn't close it. All right, so also just wanna make sure that we talk about the extra little windshield that you see here, but this is really nice. This does keep the water off of your windshield and off of your side mirrors as well. And then as you can see, uh, all of the marker lights up top, another window, again, we talked about that cross ventilation, but just a super, super nice uh, feature to this coach and those beautiful headlights. Again, this is a 2024, it says 23 on that sticker there, but this is a 2024 Renegade Classic. And again, with uh, 2024, we brought in that hydraulic slide on the port side, um, just a really fantastic, beautiful RV. Uh, it's available for sale. If you're interested in any information or the build sheet, give me a call. Uh, you can always reach me at 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659. Take a screenshot, shoot me a text, let me know how I can help get you out on the road and camping. And thanks for tuning in.